Okay, so ADHD books. This one is pretty amazing. Smart but Stuck by Thomas Browell. This guy's an absolute legend. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. This book is awesome. Okay, guys, so I have the um, absolute pleasure and honor of um, interviewing Dr. Thomas Brown a couple of months ago on my channel. I'll try and leave that link down below. In kind of like spirit for World Autism Acceptance Week 2023, I, I thought I'd kind of go over this book, Smart But Stuck, which he actually sent me as a gift, which is really, really nice of him. Um, and it's absolutely amazing. So let's get right into that. So this book um, is, it basically provides an in-depth analysis of challenges faced by individuals with ADHD, or particularly those who are high achieving and intellectual um, adults, but still struggle to perform daily tasks. Now, I know all this because like, you know, doing daily tasks is is sometimes really difficult, especially if you have ADHD and you're kind of wanting to do one thing, but then your mind is like wondering for the other thing and then you can't stay focused on this thing. You have a lack of motivation, your mood dips, your um, ability to kind of get up and go kind of dips a lot, right? And it's really interesting seeing somebody actually put that into a book and say like, just as it is. And it's really nice to see that. Now, the author, obviously a leading expert in ADHD, explores the psychological and neurological factors that contribute to ADHD and explains how they affect the lives of those who have it. So basically, you know, Dr. Brown goes through different differences or difficulties that people with ADHD have to bring you kind of a more academic condensed version of like, why is this happening? You know, what, what, is, what is going on in this situation right now? Um, he outlines the various cognitive strengths of individuals with autism and ADHD, such as creative, um, Continuity, like you know, creative art, and the ability to hyper focus while also discussing the difficulties they face with executive functions such as organizing, prioritizing, of time management, and things like that. He offers practical strategies, which is pretty amazing, and techniques that will help individuals with ADHD manage the symptoms and improve overall quality of life. Because at the end of the day, what you're trying to do with any information that you digest, you're trying to like upscale your quality of life right and so this book really really does that it offers that in, a, in a such a good way and it's not the world's biggest book which is really good because like at the end of the day if you're tr if you're trying to uh, read a book about something that's going to help you and it's like so big and heavy you're never going to put through it right so it's not going to help anybody so it actually goes through case studies of real life examples um that illustrate the impact of adhd on education careers personal life relationships he also emphasizes importance of early diagnosis and proper treatment and therapy overall this book uh, is a comprehensive, compassionate understanding of ADHD and empowers readers to navigate their own experiences with their condition. And I think like there's a couple of books I come across um, that really kind of stick out and go, whoa, you know, everybody with this condition should use that. Everyone with this condition should use that. So Smart But Stuck is one of those. Now, if you want to get your hands on your copy of Smart But Stuck, you can do in the link down below. I will link this book for everybody. Happy World Autism Acceptance Week 2023. If you're watching this in the future, then hey, how's it going? But if you want to get your hands on this book, I'll leave a link to it down below. Super awesome. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys.